Knight fans everywhere, rise up now and show the kingdom's love for your 2010, 2012, 2010s may be some of the most interesting times in the history of the Marching Knights. The Marching Knights would have six different directors, and yet would still see growth in the band to push the membership to over 375 members by the end of the decade. Several albums featuring recordings of the band would be produced, and the band would travel to UCF's second bowl game in the Liberty Bowl, as well as several other bowls, including two trips to the Fiesta Bowl and a trip to the Peach Bowl. The band would be the house band for the ESPN College Football Awards show in 2013 and 2014, and perform at a Jacksonville Jaguars game for halftime in 2015. The 2010s would see the greatest growth in national recognition of both the UCF football team and the Marching Knights. Now let's hear from some of our most recent alumni about their time in the band. I would say my favorite Marching Knights memory would be going to the Fiesta Bowl back in 2014 for New Year's and beating Baylor, who I think was number six in the rankings, and, and being able to explore Scottsdale in Arizona and, and go to the mall there and spend time with my friends. And I'm pretty sure we went into the hot tub at night, even though I don't think we were supposed to, but it was still really fun. <laughs> hey, Marching Knights of All Ages. Um, I have to say my favorite show ever was the Last show of my senior year, last home game, it was for the 50th anniversary of UCF. So we got to play songs from every decade UCF has been around. And it was just a great way to bring together all of my wonderful memories of UCF. So go nice and charge on. The best part of UCF game day was definitely sectionals at the student union where we could connect with our friends, family, and the fans who were out there waiting for us to rehearse as well as my favorite part is the piccolo section leader, the ET solo, which I often got to perform and always brought a smile to my face. So I was fortunate enough to attend the Fiesta Bowl twice. The first time in 2013, 2014 as a captain of the Color Guard, and then again in 2018, 2019 as one of the instructors of the team. So that for sure is my favorite memory, being able to have that experience twice on both sides as a performer and as an educator. I have so many favorite MK memories, it's really hard to pick one. And I think the one that I have to kind of go with is more than one memory, but it's every season that I hear E.T. for the first time. And we, you know, do the whole E.T. thing and shh. Um, every time that that song hits for the first time for the season, always gets me. Doesn't matter how old I'm getting, how many years have passed, every single time. So it's always nice to come home. As you can tell, there have been so many wonderful alumni that have come through these doors. We've had several doctors, lawyers, educators, businesswomen, businessmen, just wonderful people who have represented the three eyes, not only in marching nights, but outside of this wonderful organization. As we look forward to the future, we look forward to you, continuing to support us, continuing to motivate us, and continuing to push us to even greater heights. It's definitely has been an honor to be a director of the Marching Knights, and I look forward to continuing and building on the wonderful success that our previous directors and current directors and alumni have brought forth to us. Looking forward to even more resources so we can get wonderful lights on our field, and also even new uniforms here within a short while. Thank you so much to our administration and most importantly to you, our alumni. Go Knights, charge on. In just these first four years as director of bands at UCF, I've been so impressed, even overwhelmed at the level of excellence and the amount of tradition that's in a program only 40 years old. I'm awed by our alumni, by our former directors and staff that come before us, and grateful for the work, the dedication that they put into getting our program to the level at which we currently enjoy. And with that, I have no doubt that the 
future of the UCF bands is as bright as can be. And I can't wait for everyone to walk along our sides as we continue to develop as one with the nation's premier band programs. Band has always been about being a part of something greater than ourselves. Now, especially more than ever, it has provided a home and so much more for so many. We, as the current drum majors and band president of the Marching Knights, look forward to leaving our legacy and seeing the future of the Marching Knights. Go Knights! Charge on! To this day, the Marching Knights are the largest and most visible student organization at the University of Central Florida. They are known for their high energy performances, unique and contemporary drill designs, and musical selections including genres such as jazz, pop, classical, soundtracks, and more. The 375 plus members experience the thrill of performing for tens of thousands of fans each year at UCF football games, high school exhibitions, local parades, and bowl and championship games. With a commitment to excellence in performance, both on and off the field, the Marching Knights truly are the pride of Central Florida.